Hi everybody. Today in this new video tutorial there will be an interesting and important topic, it will help you to return to Windows 10, if you are unhappy that you bought a computer with Windows 11, or after upgrading to Windows 11, your computer started to work slowly, poorly, and therefore you want to go back to Windows 10 without losing personal data and keeping your Microsoft license. But more than 10 days have passed since the upgrade and now when you open the setting you see that the go back tab is gray, and when you click it is inactive. The transition from Windows 11 will be done using the Windows 10 ISO file, and in one of the steps in the disk selection window for Windows 10, you need to click on disk C, and then click, next. The system will immediately display a message that all personal files from Windows 11 will be placed in the Windows old folder and saved in the new Windows 10. To make sure you know how this method works in advance, I prepared several files and placed them on the desktop. These are folders with videos, photos and documents, and we also see several applications here. Once the process is complete, you will see that all these files will remain unchanged, small applications will work in Windows 10 the same way as they worked in Windows 11, and only some large programs or games may need to be reinstalled in the new Windows 10, but this fact will become clear only after installing the new Windows 10. So, now we move on to the next step, open the browser and in the search we write, download Windows 10. Or open the video description. And follow the link to the Windows 10 download site. The Microsoft website opens. Here we can read the rules for installing and using Windows 10. To download a special application, a tool for downloading Windows 10 ISO file, we click, here. The application has been downloaded, and the browser can be closed. Now let's open File Explorer, and open the folder, Downloads. Double-click the icon, and the application will launch. Here you must accept the terms of the license. Accept. In the window that opens, you need to select the ISO file download. Next. If you uncheck the box, in this window you can select the language for Windows 10. I will leave English. Next. In this window we need to select to download the Windows ISO file to the computer. Next. Here we need to select a location to download the ISO file. I select the desktop. Click, Save, and Windows 10 starts downloading to the computer. ISO file download complete, I click, Finish. To continue the process of upgrading to Windows 10, double click on the ISO file, and here we can see all the files Windows 10. Now we need to open the folder, Sources, and in this folder we need to find the installation file, Setup. Scroll down the list of files and find the installation file setup. Now double click on this file, and the installation of Windows 10 on your computer will immediately begin. In this window, click, No thanks, since you can get all updates after completing the installation of Windows 10. In this window, click, I don't have a product key because your new Windows 10 will be activated automatically. In this window, you need to select the same edition of Windows 10 that you had before. If you had Windows Home, then select Windows 10 Home. If you had Windows Pro, you need to select Windows 10 Pro, and then your Microsoft license will be saved and the new Windows 10 will be activated automatically. I used to have Windows 11 Pro, and that's why I choose Windows 10 Pro. Next. I agree to the license terms, Next. To continue installation, click, here. In this window we see the C drive of my computer, and several small system partitions. My computer has only one 1 terabyte drive connected, it is possible that your drive, in addition to the C drive, also has a D drive, or several drives are connected to the computer. But in any in this case, in this window you do not need to do anything with these disks and partitions, so as not to lose personal data. To continue installing the new Windows 10, you need to click on Drive C, and then click Next. 
you will immediately see a message from the installer. From this message you will learn that upon completion of the installation of the new Windows 10, all your personal files will be placed in the Windows old folder, and you will be able to use your files in the new Windows 10. Click, OK, and the installation of Windows 10 begins immediately. You don't have to do anything for a while, you can relax and drink a cup of tea or coffee. Your computer will automatically restart several times. Please do not turn off your computer. The process of switching to Windows 10 is coming to an end, and now we need to make some settings, select a region, yes. Now the keyboard layout, yes. Skip. I will be using Windows for myself. Next. Here you need to enter your Microsoft account details. If you do not have a Microsoft account, click, create account and then follow the instructions of the system until you register. I'll create a local account and click here. Click here. In this window you need to enter your username. Next. You'll need to enter a password here, but I'll do that later. Next. Here I accept all proposed privacy conditions. Accept. The new Windows 10 welcomes us, there's not much left. Yes, I did it and now I have a brand new Windows 10 on my computer. Hope everything went well for you too. I click the start button. Then settings. Open the accounts window. In this window we see that my Windows 10 is managed by a local account. If you want to sign in to a Microsoft account, click here. Now we will see how the automatic activation of the new Windows 10 went. Yes, I have Windows 10 Pro installed and activated with my digital license. Now let's see how the saving of my personal data went, for this I open, File Explorer. Then, this PC, and double click on the C drive. Here is the Windows old folder, and it should contain all my personal files. I open this folder, then the folder. Users. Here I open the folder with my username. If you remember, there were several folders on my desktop in Windows 11. And I open the desktop. Yes, here is my old video folder and my photos folder, and I will check if I lost my files or not. No, I didn't lose anything, my files were saved. Now we will see how my programs were saved using this method. Let's open this PC again. Then disk C. And open Windows old again. Here you need to open program files, where installed programs are usually located, and now I will show you how to use programs from the old Windows. I open the folder of one of the programs. Right click on the icon of this program and select. Send to desktop. Then I double click on the icon, and the program launches safely. In the same way, you can use all your applications from the old Windows. I hope this method will help you to upgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10 and you will not lose your license and will keep your personal files and applications. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a nice day.